Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question maximum product of two elements in an array. Okay, so let me introduce two solutions. So first solution is, so seems like uh, all numbers are positive. So simply all we have to do is just to find the two largest numbers in input array. So the key point of my first solution is um, like uh, keep the largest number, so that means current max, and uh, compare like, uh, so result is a return value. So less equal max of current result versus current max minus one multiply uh, current number minus one. So every time we compare um, this number and I get a current max result. So um, first of all, I initialize the current max with one because uh, uh, index zero is one, right? And so we can start from uh, here, index one. So um, basically we iterate through like one by one. So current result is now zero and the current max uh, minus one is zero and multiply uh, current number is five minus one is four. So compare zero and uh, zero. So result still zero. And then, but uh, before we move next iteration, so uh, we are trying to uh, update current max. So current max is one and the current number is five. So five is greater than one, right? So that's why uh, we need to keep this five for next iteration. So update um, current max uh, with five. And then move next. So next current number is four. So current result is zero and the current max is five. So five minus one is four. Multiply current number is four. Four minus one is three. So max should be 12, right? So that's why update the result variable with 12. And uh, again, uh, we are trying to update the current max. So current max is five and the current number is four. So five is greater than four. So current max is still five. And then move next. So we find another five. And the current result is 12. And the current max is five minus one and four. Multiply current number is five minus one is four. So this is a 16, right? So 12 versus 16. So 16 is a greater than 12. So update result variable um, with 16. And uh, update uh, current max, 5 versus current number is 5. So current max should be 5. And then move next, but uh, finish. So all we have to do is just return 16 in this case. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize the result variable with zero. And the current max should be a first number. That means index zero, so nums and zero. And the start iteration, so for i in range, so we can start from index one and the length of nums. And then, so result should be max of current max versus, uh, I mean, current result max and uh, versus current max minus one multiply uh, current number should be nums i minus one. And then update current max equal max and uh, current max versus current number nums i and then return results variable yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because we iterate through all numbers one by one here and the space complexity is i think o1 we don't use a, a extra data structure this is a step-by-step -step algorithm of the first solution yeah so let's talk about the second solution Okay, so I already summarized the uh, um, key point of the second solution uh, to make video short. And uh, basically, uh, we try to find the first max and the second max numbers in the input array. So we iterate through uh, one by one. And uh, current, if current number is greater than first max number so far, then current number will be the first max number, right? And uh, current 
first max number will be the second max number, right? No wonder. And uh, if current number is less than the first max number so far, then compare second max number versus current number because uh, there is a still possibility that current number will be the second max number. Yeah, very simple logic, right? So yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. Um, first of all, initialize first max and uh, second max. And uh, both, uh, both are initialized with zero and zero. And then start looping for num in nums. And as I told you, if current number is greater than first max, so in that case, current number uh, will be the first num max number, and the current first max number will be second max number. So second, second max, and the first max equal. So first max will be second max, and the current number will be a uh, first max like this. And else, in the case, uh, compare second max. So max and uh, second max versus current number. So current number might be the uh, next, uh, like a second max. And then after that, all we have to do is just first max minus one multiply second max minus one. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because we iterate through all numbers one by one. And the space complexity is, I think, O1. We use uh, only simple variable, right? First max and the second max. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of the second solution. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.